yes welcome again uh if you are if you are part of our previous of our previous uh, tutorial i took you around isis i made you familiar with isis so now we'll just be doing as part of being making us familiar with isis i'll just be doing a little uh a little process modeling i'll just be doing a little simulation I just be doing, be doing a little simulation and there's one question i would like us to solve together with isis so i have my question here let me just bring it up let me just bring it up let me bring it up let me bring it up oh, let me bring it up yes this question is under r and c richardson and colson i can't remember the volume in particular now is under R and C, you can find it there. I said a mixture containing 33% hexane, 37% heptane, and octane is to be distilled in order to obtain the distilled product of this. Of, of this. Hmm. So, what this question is talking about is that they want us to calculate the number of theoretical plates. So, as a chemical engineer, I don't need to disturb myself with the calculator and the paper, I can just go to my high street and i just click on my this material stream which i anytime i want to place anything on my process flow diagram i just click on it and bring it up here and place it wherever i want place wherever i want so to change the composition of this you will see that this is still in green or light blue i can call this light blue so it means nothing is there as you can see the temperature is empty the pressure is empty the molar flow is empty so i just double click on it i can change the name i can change it to feed so if i change it to feed let's go back to the question the question tells us that it is entering into the or uh, into the distillation column with with 60 percent using vaporized feed of 60% steam it means this is not a liquid alone it contains both liquid and gas and the percentage the vapor percentage is 60% so i just put my 0 0.6 0 0.6 that's 60% Start putting my 60% and we were told in the question that uh, the column operates at 1 ATM. So I just put, I just make this my stream to be one ATM, to be one ATM, one ATM, one ATM. I can change is in kilopascal, but I have to change it to ATM. So this one atmosphere. So I can just go to. Uh, I still need to specify my molar flow rate. I choose my basis to be equal to one hundred kilomo, one hundred kilomo. Can press enter you can double click on that and choose here yeah, if you should notice that my n exine is 33 percent my n thing is that seven percent and my octane the remaining is octane so i just put n exine to be equals to 33 percent that's 0 0.33 and this one to be equal to 0 0.37 and octane with the remaining will be what it remains this is already 0 0.7 but the total fraction of it should be one so i just put my 0 0.3 to make it one that's octane and i press my ok you will see that this has already changed to green and it's telling me that it's okay it means i've uh, uh if you study your thermodynamics very well you will notice you will know that uh you only need to 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 two variables to calculate the rest like you can specify the temperature and prayer alone and everything will be calculated but here i'm only specifying prayer and vapor fraction so every other thing is calculated it means at this prayer my temperature will be 98.87 and other ma mass fluids will be 999 9,978 so ISIS has calculated every other thing for me so I'm going to go so I can close this now I want to I said I want to calculate my theoretical number of stages so I I won't use I'll just go to column 
I want to use distillation distillation column subflow sheet. With that, I can't calculate. <laughs> so what I need to calculate my theoretical number of plates is the shortcut distillation column. Shortcut distillation column. So with this, I can calculate my number of stages. So I will just take this. So this is my shortcut distillation column. And I will for me to you will see that it's still is in is in red. It means it's nothing is inputted yet. There's no results from it. So I need to do some things on it so I can just double click. So if I double click on it, my inlets, I want my feed to enter. So I can just click on inlet and click on feed. So my distillate, I want it to be, let's call it top product and let's call the bottom, bottom. Let's call it bottom, bottom, bottom product. So I want I don't want my uh, top order to be in liquid I don't want the condenser to be total condenser condenser so after I will change this to vapor if you like if you want your top order to be in liquid you can leave it in liquid and for me I don't want it so this is what I want for now so this requires an energy stream so I just write here that Q condenser that is the energy of condenser and this one to be Q reboil, energy of reboil. So I'm done with that. If you notice here, yeah, it's still in red and it's telling me that unknown key component. It means that's the next thing that I have to input. So I have to go to my parameters. If I go to my parameters, it's asking me that light key. What is our light key? What what is light key? Light key is the uh is the light key component is the component is a light is is a light key com is a component i'm sorry is a component that you can find both in the distillate and at the bottom but most of it will be at the top at the top product because it's light and every key every key component is that component that you can find both in the bottom and the top products but most of it will be at the bottom so now from this my question now my key component will be exine and ethane it should have been specified in the question yeah or you can choose you can choose logically as a chemical engineer from all this exine ethane and octane exine is the lightest and octane is the heaviest so it's very possible that i don't have any octane as my as my top product so L octane can never be my key component so i just take my exine and from the question this told us that 0.1 mole fraction of n exine is at the bottom as the bottom product and 0.01 ethane is at the top product it means exine is at both the top and the bottom and ethane is at both the top and the bottom so they are the key component so i just go and input it into my high sys light component exine it said light component in bottom and the mode fraction is 0 0.01 0 0.01 and every key in the distillate every key in the distillate it will be 0 0.01 to 0 0.01 that's what is being given us in the question so they said the from the question or the question the column operates at one atm it means there is no change in prayer it's only the the temperature that will be changing in that system so i just put my condenser prayer to be close to 180 m since there is no change in prayer both both our condenser and reboiler will have the same will have the same uh, prayer so let's see as i've input everything you see it's telling me that unknown external reflux ratio but isis has already calculated for us minimum reflux ratio it means we must not we must never try to run our column with a reflux ratio that is anything less than 2.789 so as a chemical engineer you are now the one to choose 
what external reflux do you want to use so for now let me just choose three let me just choose three as my external reflux and i press enter as you can see this thing has changed to green and it's telling me okay it means isis has calculated it everything is fine i have my result and if you look at here you look at a mean solver solver mean ready solver mean ready it means my result is ready so i can just go to performance isis would have calculated everything for me you see now that this is the minimum number of trees is telling me that the minimum number of trees is 10.485 the actual number of three there is difference between minimum number of three and actual number of three so you have to get that actual number of three is, three is the number of three that you will need in the feed in the feed so you must get that and the optimal feed stage where the stage should enter your decision column should be on on the stage 15 on the stage 15 and for this you have to run your column with a condenser pre temperature of 69.51 and with boiler temperature of 107.9 so you have to get that in mind ISIS has calculated everything for you and you have other results here too that will guide you so the beauty of simulation is that everything you have want to want to do on the field you first of all of, of calculate it you first of all perform it on your computer to get the likely results that you can apply on the feed let's let's now go here let's go here and let me change this the, you know the our question said infinite infinite reflux let's now see when i use three our result our number of trees is 27.429 so let's change it let's change this to maybe seven and let's see what our minimum our number of trees will be our number of trees is now 13.9 the minimum number of three is still the same so it means if i want my distillation column to be very tall I can go with that reflux ratio of three but now if i'm using a larger number of external reflux it's it you can see that my actual number of three has decreased so it only depends on you and you will notice that every other thing is still the same our condenser temperature is the same our boiler temperature is the same or let me say almost the same so let's let's change it again let's change it again that's the beauty of simulation you use so many things you use so many things you want let me use 4.5 now you use so many things you want and you get your answer without going to the feed you imagine you can't be doing all this on the feed you can't be doing try and error on the feed no you can't but under using uh simulation software you can do anything let's now go to performance and see our uh, actual number of three has changed to 17. it means the higher the reflux we should the lower the number of trees thank you for joining us in this tutorial i hope you will you will meet us some other time as we take you around the world of isis to making you become a very great, great process engineer once again i'm already emmanuel lucia from the department of chemical engineering and i wish you all the best in your chosen career thank you see you some other time